to my channel. This is the last part of the lessons for Billie Eilish portrait. So today I will show you my way to draw background. We need to draw this background guys so I converted the picture in black and white so I can draw with the graphite pencils. Today we're using only 8B grade and eraser and for shading uh, we're using toilet paper. Stay with me guys and let's see how to draw a realistic background. If you like what you see don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click on the bell notification for more videos. Thank you very much guys, this is the last tutorial and let's get into this. First thing to do guys is to divide. I'm using HB grey mechanical pencil to outline in to draw the shape of the curtain. When I'm happy with the outline, I'll swap my pencil and I'm going on AB grade as I told you before. We're working only with AB grade for this. And we start to shade. And we shade by layers. I'm coming to shade using toilet paper. That's very important for background so we can smooth the paper. After first layer we have a toned paper grey, but we need to go darker, so I'm coming one more layer using 8B grey, and I'll carry over the shade. I'm looking for shadows guys, and I'm working with 8B grey, because it's about the dark tone. And from now I'm using only a B grade and dry brush. I'm working in layers and we're respecting the reference photo. And remember when you draw background, sharpen with your pencils and keep your pencil flat for better shade. I have some shadows on the curtain, we need to respect this. Stay with me and follow my steps. shadows and this time I'm coming with blending stone number three and my way is by rotating and also working in gradients mixing together the shadows with the highlights in this way we can draw realistic shadows I'm adding highlights from the hair and for this I'm using eraser number one zero eraser As I told you before, we need to add all the necessary details to draw realistic. As you can see, you can add very easy some highlights using eraser over AB grey graphite. Just drawing some messy hair. Now I'll carry on using AB grey. Of course, I'm working in layers and I'm moving to the bottom part. I'm just shadowing between hair and background so I can draw again highlights. Again, I'm gonna use dry brush because if you remember, if we're working with dark tone, we're using dry brush. Don't worry, even if you work with cold red pencil, nothing happened. We just rebuild again. Anyway, I had already drawn with dotting tool, so I can come easily using eraser over dotting tool. I'm putting my eraser on the paper, and now I can draw white hair or cold red hair, adding maximum effects. I'm always using some other eraser when I draw highlights, white hair and the necessary effects. As you can see very easy to lining with eraser over dotting tool, even if I'm going with dark grey over. And now we need to add highlights for the messy hair part to finish with the design of the hair. I'm adding a bit AB grey graphite on the bottom and I'll shade with toilet paper this time. Stay with me to see all process. I'm gonna shade now using toilet paper and I'm going by small circles so I can cover all part of the paper. I'm working on frisk Bristol paper with Faber Castell pencils, Faber Castell 9000 pencils. All my suppliers are in the link in the description or new to video. So using soft brush without graphite, we have already graphite on the brush, we can make very nice blurry parts. To make the drawing more realistic I'm gonna use Faber Castell eraser pencil and I'm dotting, we add in some realistic highlights on the curtain. 
only where the highlights are. Now I'm coming with toilet paper to cover the dots or highlights, but just a little bit, very light. For the second part of the background, I'm going very dark on the outline, so I'm staying on A, B grade. I'm outlining first. We need to go straight, so this will be very dark and the highlight in the corner. Also, we need to work ingredients from the dark to light. I'm going in layers and I repeat the layers till I achieve the dark tone that I'm looking for. Stay with me to see all steps. toilet paper and I'm going very soft and I'm smoothing the paper helping the graphite getting into the paper. I'm coming one more layer in the middle so I can make a bluey part and I'm staying on a big grade. brush helping the dark tone easier I'm adding a bit brush a hard brush on the outline so I can make this blurry just a little bit and very light as you can see I left a little bit highlights in the middle and now I'm coming with soft brush and if you remember guys I'm using soft brush to blur in the parts so very light only on the outline as you can see I blur in this part same as reference photo and I'm coming on the highlights also, same very light with soft brush to blurring as well this part. So don't forget guys, when you draw blurry, use soft brush. When you draw dark tone, use dry brush. It will help and it will be more easy. We have the blurry part and now we can carry on. And I'm staying on AB grade because all background will be drawn by AB grade. And I'm going by layers, coloring this part, same as the other side. My way for shading already, bend the pencil, sharp very well your pencil, as you can see mine is very sharp. And don't forget for the first 2-3 layers on the background, use toilet paper or soft tissue. As you can see guys, all portraits made by me are draw in layers, so it's very important to learn to draw in layers. In that way we can blow the paper and we can color in the paper as dark as we need. As I told you before, I'm coming with toilet paper to shade the first layer and I'm going by small circles to cover all sides of the paper. Actually, we're looking to push the graphite into the paper. As you can see, the paper become grey, which is good. We're working with graphite pencil anyway. But as I can see in the reference photo, we need to go darker, so I'm coming with one more layer or maybe two, repeating the same steps. Stay with me to see the video. my way to keep pencil sharp for longer is rotating just a little bit till I shade and as you can see that helps me to keep my pencil sharp and I can use for longer this time of shade it will be with blending stone as I did on the left side and I'm going same on number three and by small circles I fill the paper with the graphite I'm coming with the last layer guys and this time I'm going small circles because I'm looking to add a bit dark tone on the curtain. As you can see, slowly, slowly the dark tone changing. Also, if you're interested to draw dark black background, you can find on YouTube channel. And also I draw dark black background on Marilyn Monroe portrait. And if you're interested, you can search for that video. Guys, if you like to learn something and if, if it's new for you, please leave a comment below what would you like to learn and I'll build a tutorial for this. We can help each other. I'm here to help people and improve their skills. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel and upgrade your skill. 
blending stone for the last time of shade and this type of blend is by circles in small parts as you can see for the last part of this background I'm coming to add some dots using Faber-Castell eraser same on the left I'm adding just random dots to make the effect on the curtain this helps for highlights also we clean the eraser so we can carry on when you see the eraser full of graphite just clean through the fingers or on the blank paper and as I did on the left part I'm coming very light with toilet paper just to cover a little bit the dots and before to finish the portrait I'm coming always with the second check I have a double check always so now I'm looking for highlights and for this I'm gonna use jelly roll and starting from the top I'm going to the bottom guys and this is the last touch of my portrait and I'm starting with eyes because we need to draw a watery eyes but only one side I'm just dotting with jelly roll and from the left to right I'm looking for highlights on the glosses only after this the portrait is ready for picture to take a photo it will be more interesting with highlights but remember only important highlights that you cover it during the process Thank you everyone for your time spent on my videos guys. That was the last lesson for Billie Eilish realistic drawing portrait. Now you know a lot of things about pencils, about suppliers, how to use uh, tools in the right way. As you can see we have finished the portrait with all necessary details guys and you have all videos start to learn from A to Z. So if you want to become a professional artist guys you can add as much details as you can. And don't forget guys, a few tips for you. First of all, sharp very well your pencils. Cover your drawing with white paper. Always make sure you keep your drawing clean. That's very important things to know. Good luck with your artwork guys and God bless you.